Let's talk about your mortgage insurance adjusting and your property taxes adjusting. Some people say that buying a home is not worth it because the mortgage payment that they go into when they first buy the home changes in a year or two years simply because the homeowner's insurance adjusts and or the property taxes adjust. So here's my two cents on that. Should I buy a home or should I rent? It's really up to you. But let me explain this to you when purchasing a home. The home is going to usually appreciate, meaning it's going to increase in value. And yes, it is quite possible for your mortgage note to fluctuate. Well, not necessarily the mortgage note. The mortgage note is what it is. But your in, your uh, taxes and your homeowner's insurance could fluctuate, which thereby causes your payment that you send to your lender to increase or decrease based on if your homeowner's insurance increases or your taxes increase. So that's why I feel that it's very important that when you are purchasing a house that you get in to a payment that you can afford. I.e. example, you may qualify for a $300,000 house, but you may not be able to afford it. So it may be best to look for a home for in the $150,000 range. Therefore, allowing room in case there is an escrow increase in your taxes and your insurance or for or or you could qualify for a six hundred thousand dollar house but why go into that if you know that you're not comfortable with making six hundred thousand dollar payments and or you're not comfortable with the potential that your taxes and insurance could increase thereby increasing the amount of money that you have to send to your lender a month so go into this thing smart because I can tell you that purchasing a house is a great investment if that is for you. Everyone is different. Maybe you just want to rent. Maybe you want to have the um, ability to get up and relocate anytime you want without having to worry about selling your house or refinancing it. But what I can tell you is that for most persons that obtain financial freedom is typically through home ownership. So the choice is yours. Just wanted to put this little bit of information out there to help guide you in the case that you are out house hunting, you don't necessarily have to buy at the top where they say you qualify for 500,000, 700,000. Buy where you feel comfortable. And here's another great uh, thing to do. If there's a two person household that has income coming in, buy where you're, you're relying on only one person's income, okay? So that way if someone loses a job or someone gets sick or you have some other emergency that occurs in your home, you've already based what your mortgage, taxes, and insurance, the payments are going to be off of just one income coming into that house, all right? Don't, don't overextend yourself. All right, you can get more tips like this on my YouTube channel. You can join our free Facebook group buying and refinancing homes in South Carolina. Um, listen, I know the group name is buying and refinancing homes in South Carolina, but trust me, uh, we you can get great tips that you can apply anywhere in the U.S. in that Facebook group. 